In today's crazy video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting this simple reflected XSS lab and this a little bit more complicated reflected XSS lab against three different tools. Now, one of these tools is actually mine and you can get it using the link in the description. If you are a student of mine, you get it absolutely for free. So make sure to check that out. And also, if you're a student, you get to collaborate with me on a random program you choose on Bug Bounty. And the top part about it is we already found $500 bounty with the first student I collaborated with. So if you want to collaborate with me or any of these guys who are already there, which are actually top notch hackers, then you want to check it out using the link in the description down below. And there is also a nice little discount for you. Now, one of these tools is, as I've said, already mine. But we're going to test to see all three of these tools to see which one of these is best for doing recon and XSS hunting. My name is Flow, and welcome to this video. So right now I have a website in front of me, which is an easier one. It is basically a simple reflected XSS. And then we have a harder XSS, which we might need to actually take a look at. So the easier one is very, very simple. And this is a harder one. So let's start off with the easier one. And let's search source something up so we can copy this up and go here to these programs right over here. We have my program. We have something I found online and we have a lot of the thing which I found online. This one, if you're a member of my course or a student, you can get for free. And these will, these two, well, I will leave them in the description for you to check them out. Okay, let's run this code right now. Let me replace this URL with this brand new URL. Now let's start off with this bottom code to see if we can find XSS. And uh, let's just see if this is going to happen. And as you can see, it already says here detected XSS at, and it tells us where it found XSS. So I'm just going to copy this up a little bit. So let me just go back here to this website right here, paste this in and see if we have alert pop up oh actually this is a console the log so it's a weird payload but in the console do we have we do have this thing pop in the console meaning that this is actually an xss so for what we can see already this one was very quick and it solved this challenge quite easily so let's just clear this all up and let's reset this one to see if this one can do any better let's replace the actual url here so we can go ahead and start hacking by the way i should probably give him the brand new link without no payloads in them so let's just copy it up let's go back here and give it to him and now let's hit run to see how fast can it find xss uh there we go it started and already we found xss on this payload so these are very quick all of them found the xss almost instantly and let's see if that's actually true let's paste this in let's click enter apparently this one found xss but you need to do this you need to hover over it because i saw on mouse over that it executes this okay that's all right let's see mine so let's just see if my code will do any better let me just close this up and let's go to my code and my code just run it no thank you and let's paste in the parameters and let's click enter so let's see if my code will do any better. And there it is. First try. All of them did it on first try, I believe. So we have accesses found on the website. If I visit this, I should see alert one. And I'm not going to brag, but out of all of these three, I feel like mine was straight to the point. It was basically like first one, click. And it also tells you this is a reflected no mouse overs, no console logs know anything because this one might confuse you this one might confuse you this one was straight to the point but i'm not here to sell it i'm here to test all these three and see which one is better now let's go over to the harder one and let's see how bad or how good are these programs when faced up with a bit of a challenge so the harder one is quite literally difficult it is a reflected xss into a javascript string with angle brackets and double quotes html encoded and single quotes escaped it's a very hard challenge and let's go with the exact same order. Let's give it the search test and let's go out and let's give it these la the first program, which we actually tested last time to see if it can find XSS on this program on this website. I'm sorry. So let's hit enter to see what's going to happen. So right now it's going after this and hopefully it finds something. I'm not quite sure what to think. I'm looking at the console right now to see if I can see anything detected. So if it finds something, we're going to know if it doesn't find something we're also going to know so far it hasn't found anything and it's just shooting into nothing I currently it's testing for post methods with for xss which doesn't make a lot of sense and unfortunately it didn't find anything so this one was not quite able to do it so i'm sorry but again you don't actually have to do it all times because this one actually is a hard challenge and i would be surprised if any of these was able to figure it out 
So let's go with this one, see if it can do any better. Let's see now, and there we go. We are immediately found some interesting stuff. We are having quite a bit of fighting over here. It's actually going after them because this efficiency thing is not 100, but it's generating me some payloads. So what happens if I just copy something? I don't know. If, it, if it's generating me payloads, that means it must be working. And I don't really not quite I'm not quite sure what to think. No, it doesn't work. So this one doesn't work, but I'm going to leave this to run. But it's 3000 payloads. So I'm not quite certain if I want to keep it live, but I still want to see if we can figure it out. And if it can, then it's a great thing. But I want to run my program then at the same time to see if my program would be any faster than this one, which I found online. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this up go back to my program and just give him this and let's just see which one's faster my program on this some program that I found online and let's see both of these programs actually as a matter of fact use mutations to figure out which payload is the best so let's just see what's gonna happen is my program actually going to be faster than this program right over here I'm waiting until any of these programs tell me that they found XSS so I'm looking at them both I can look at them as well and let's just hope for the best and believe it or not, my program was quite faster than this random program I found online. All of the what this program was generating was random ass tags, which wasn't going to work, I probably think at all. But my program actually generated something which I was not quite able to even understand at first. I'm so like intrigued at the fact that they actually generated a payload which was able to execute it and solve this lab. If you're wondering why this is already here is because this actually solved it for me. So there you go actually. You can see that my program was able to solve it better than all of these other programs. And if you want to get this program right here, you can find it using the link in the description because all of the students who are part of my cybersecurity course get it for free. And part of that, you also get to collaborate with me and all sorts of other things. So make sure to check them out. You can also check these out if you want to. This one is actually great, but if you let it run for 3000 payloads, which I was not going to do, I was going to run this one and until it figured it out. As you can see, it tried here with this payload, but it failed because of this bracket here. Then it tried without it and then it worked. So yeah, if you want to use this one which also is going to get a massive update by the start of May which will actually make it the best access tool online there is then make sure to be a student of my course link is in the description thank you so much for watching this a very weird video idea stay safe stay responsible and ethical and as always peace